Okay, thank you for coming to the Wind Dragon page. I'm going to be sharing a discovery I made today um, of a book called Chenna Fa, The Skill of Catch and Hold, written by Lu Jin Sheng. And uh, the reason why I want to share this information um, is because when I first learned Chinese martial arts or Chinese boxing, as you can see, there's some type of a grappling technique here. When I first learned Chinese martial arts, the class was not called Kung Fu or Wu Shu. Uh, our class was called Trin Kuo Shu. And it was the only class like that in the city of Boston Massachusetts, um, as I know, and uh, grappling submission holds, or what we call chin na, or in throwing, swai jiao was heavily incorporated into the trin kuo shu system. Now, I have traveled around different places, and people often ask, now, what is it that you do? And I tell them, my, my mother art is trin kuo shu. And I have never, ever gotten a, I would say, a good response from people. Even in Chinatown, people would say, what is that? You know? So what I have learned is that Guo Shu, G-U-O-S-H-U, even according to this book, is originally... the grappling and submission holds that came from Shaolin way before jiu-jitsu was invented or, or developed in Japan and judo was developed in Japan. It already existed at the Shaolin Temple. Okay? Now, I'm going to continue to scroll down because I want to show you these pictures. This book was written in the 1900s, okay? And um, it was written to preserve the history of Chenna, okay? Because I believe Kano Kitaro of Japan was the, was the uh, judo champion. And he got famous for basically knowing Chenna that came from China, but the Japanese had stolen it and renamed it Jiu-Jitsu. Okay? Now, um, I could get really deep about this and read a lot. I don't want to do that. I want to get straight to the pictures. Now, this person here um, is a military person. I'm going to read this real quick. I think this is important. Um, and it says... The preface by Lu Jin Sheng. And this is what really touched me here because I have done Trin Kuo Shu since I was 15 years old. I'm going to be 33. Okay? And it says, preface by Lu Jin Sheng. Recently, those who talk of military science mainly pay attention to various arm armaments of three branches of the armed forces, land forces, navy force, and air force and did not pay attention to the national martial art Guo Shu. And you can see it right there. So for those of you who never understood the martial art that I do, it's called Guo Shu, or what we called it in Japan, Trin, I'm sorry, in Taiwan, which was translated to Trin Kuo Shu, with the K, um, is the same exact thing as that Guo Shu. Okay, it is a national national uh, military martial art in China. Um, after the defeat of Yi He Tuan, followers during the Qing Dynasty, many believed that all who learned Wushu were bandits. Wushu was held in bad repute because Yi He Tuan followers drilled in it. That's why people started to despise the national martial art. Because of it, men of matchless mastery in Wushu are not in hurry to reveal their skill. 
Some of them even went for went for night of the of the road. As a consequence, the Chinese nation was labeled as a sick nation, and foreigners oppress us for a few decades. In other words, what he's trying to say here is that because of the term wushu and kung fu as we see it now, I'm not going to read all this. Um, those are watered down Chinese martial art terms that are responsible for the the flowery, um, fancy kung fu that we see today. Um, and what he is saying is that kung fu is not, and wushu is not the original Chinese martial art. That that stuff is flowery. He's saying the same exact thing that Bruce Lee said. And over here, you see this guy do a neck crank, where he's basically about to break somebody's neck. Okay, this is Shaolin Chenna, as I have told you guys, and I, as I, I keep keep saying it, everyone uh, treats me as though I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. You people are crazy. You don't understand history, and you haven't seen the things that I have seen, and you haven't trained in the way that I train, so you don't even know what I'm talking about. But I'm here to show you that what I say is true. Again, here is another reference, okay, of a book that's a neck crank, okay? And um, here is another submission hold, okay? And these are all the things that I learned uh, at 15 years old studying Trin Kuo Shu and more. This book uh, is for what I'm, this, you know, these are just all submission holds. That's an elbow lock and a wrist lock. Um, and I don't know if this website shows enough, but there was another site that even showed a lot of ground fighting. Um, because in Trin Kuo Shu, there was also lots of ground fighting. Um, and so that's why it was, uh, and there's also lots of striking and all the ranges and throwing, everything was incorporated in the system. You know, and so that's the reason why, um, you know, even though I studied Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu a little bit um, and I studied boxing for a while and kickboxing and Muay Thai and Sancho and Kung Fu, um, I always go back to Guo Shu because Guo Shu um, is very, very realistic. You know, it is not a sport. It is not a joke. It's not a game. Um, it was made for the military of China. And, uh, you know, we all know that China's been a country uh, for thousands of years. This is one of the reasons why, because of Guo Xu, because of their effective martial art. And this book talks a lot about that. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to share this with you all. Um, and this is just the standing parts of it. Uh, standing Chenna. Uh, by the way, Chenna means to seize and capture um, and as you can see, many Kung Fu fighters, people say, why, you know, what are you doing? You know, they don't even understand why I can do what I do. Um, but it's because of the fact that I learned a non-watered down martial art. Now, I believe that if Bruce Lee would have learned uh, Guo Shu, he probably would have still studied other different martial arts, of course, because I study different martial arts. But I also believe that he may have kind of stuck to Guo Xu because Guo Xu is everything. It's, it is like the mother um, of all martial art systems. It is before Wu Xu and Kung Fu. You know, it is, it is basically... Uh, uh, the practicality, the effectiveness of Kung Fu, Fu without all of the flowery stuff. And that was what Bruce Lee was against. He was against the, the Kung Fu, the Wushu, you know. And um, and the crazy thing is, I, I, I don't think that, I don't believe that Bruce Lee actually got to see this stuff, you know, because if he did, he would have probably had a lot more pride in Chinese martial arts, Um then he expressed later on in his life, um, he would have, here you go, this is some ground fighting. Again, this is from that book, uh, Chenna Fa, uh, Capture and Hold, written in the 1930s. Now, my internet is acting very slow. I apologize for that. But that is uh, 
you know, the guy is on is on top of that person right there. And you can clearly see um, what is going on. There you go again. You know, there is the uh, the mount, the mount guard. OK, and what is the guy doing? He is doing uh, the guard position, what the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys claim to have made up. No, this existed already in the Shaolin Temple. And, um, you know, I, I'm hated a lot because I, I revealed the truth, but I'm backing it up. I back it up with not only my knowledge, but also my demonstrations and my fighting, you know, and um, this is this is real. This is way before uh, way before BJJ, you know, and um, I would say that even a lot of uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys don't even know this because they come from the root of. The Japanese uh, jiu-jitsu, you know, um, so they probably are not even aware of this. So I'm not blaming you guys for not knowing what was probably never taught to you. But when I learned Chinese martial arts, this is what I saw, everyone. This is why I can do what I can do, because this is what was taught to me. OK, um, just check it out. It's, it's really incredible. Guo Shu. Guo Shu. Trin Kuo Shu. Look at that. Look at that, man. That is, this is real. Okay? And this wasn't invented in the 1930s. This, this has probably existed for probably hundreds of years in China. You know, no lie. We keep telling people that the Shaolin monks, they, uh, they, they gave up. Look at, that's the arm bar. That is an arm bar right there. Okay? <laughs> That's an arm bar. You see that? You know, so when I tell you guys that I'm not impressed with what I see, it's not that I don't uh, believe in the evolution of martial arts. I do believe we can always get better. But it's just that you got to understand what where I'm coming from and what I have already seen. You know, it's almost like people are telling me about, uh, t people are trying to tell me that what they're doing is new when I already seen it. You know, and um, I guess that's my that's my whole issue. Um, so you know what? I could make this video longer. Let me see if I. Uh, but that that's really the uh, the situation, you know. And um, yeah, Guo Xu, man, that's that's what it is. Chin Na. Um, so uh, that's my teacher was amazing. I mean, I went to Japan. And uh, I wasn't even really impressed with what I saw over there. Uh, nothing against the Japanese martial arts, but um, I had already seen all of that stuff already in the system, you know. And um, at 15 years old, you know, I didn't even know what jujitsu was, you know. As according to what I understood, it was all just trinko shu. So I ventured out to learn other martial arts because I wanted to see what else was there. I knew that, look at, you know, he's on, he's, that's a top guard, you know. I, I wanted to see what else was out there. So I tried boxing and Tai Chi and, and uh, I tried Wing Chun and, you know, other different systems. But um, there was nothing like, uh, like Guo Shu, man. Nothing like Trin Kuo Shu at all, you know. And, um... You know, even when I studied Wing Chun, which I felt was very, very effective, uh, Kuo Shu already had Wing Chun in it, you know. And um, when I studied Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and I, I liked it, but Kuo Shu already had all of that, all the submissions holds in it. As you, as you can see right here, I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. I'm not trying to uh, be a liar. I'm just being really honest with you guys, you know. And, um, and I like all styles, but this is my mother art. You know, this is my, my mother art. This is the art that I hold uh, dear to my soul. So I don't I do not do Kung Fu. I don't do Wushu. You know, my system is Trin Kuo Shu. Uh, that's how they translate it in, in Taiwan. But, um, in my, but originally from China, titled Guo Shu, which means uh, middle, middle kingdom, fist fighting. Okay? Or middle kingdom. Or kingdom fist fighting. Okay, so these this book was written Chenafa capture and hold because 
these Chinese real fighters here, they didn't like that the Japanese were uh, had stolen Chinna and labeled it Jiu-Jitsu. And they didn't like that the Japanese had stolen Sui Chao and labeled it Judo. And so this book was written in defense to, uh, in defense um, to that wrongdoing. You know, um, the Japanese could have just, they could have just called it what it was, you know, but uh, we all know histo history and, uh, and, and what people do with power and how they, you know, people do steal a lot of things, you know what I mean? And, um, and that's just the way that it is. I'm not going to get too deep into that. Um, look at that, man. That's, that's ridiculous. That's like some crazy, uh, <laughs> it's a crazy arm bar right there, man. I mean, the guy is on his shoulder. I mean, we see things like that, you know, and, uh, the incredible, look at that, you know, uh, this is why I had to make this video, you know, um, to show you guys that, you know, the real Chinese martial art is not Kung Fu. It's not Wu Shu. It's Guo Shu. Okay. It's Shaolin Guo Shu. Or, or uh, you can call it Chin Fa. It has a couple of different names. Um, the art is very deep, you know. And look at that, okay. The art is very, very deep, my friends. Um, and uh, by the way, uh, it is this video is doing a lot of justice. Um, however, uh, what what is it is not showing is the incredible striking combinations um, and throwing that is also in this system. Uh, so a lot of people say, why don't you study boxing? You know, I, I did study boxing, but to my opinion, I, I, Goshu, to me, it was, it had everything that I personally needed in it, you know, and, um, and yeah, man, I, I could have been a professional boxer if I wanted to be, um, but, you know, this system, you know, is, is such a complete, uh, system, you know, and, um, uh, I don't think that Bruce Lee knew about this stuff. Um, because if he did, he would not have uh, said certain statements, you know, and uh, maybe because he wasn't a pure Chinese, maybe he was not able to learn this stuff. I don't really know. Uh, we're going to stop it right there. Um, wow. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, it, touches, it touches my heart and spirit um, because that, that uh, Trinquo Shu is my art, you know, and it's, it's a, it's a family art. And, um, as I grow older in time, I, I learn to appreciate it more and more. So thank you guys. And, uh, uh, I hope that that sheds some light and I hope that, uh, people understand me a lot more and knowing that I'm not some crazy kid, uh, or not some crazy martial artist with a bizarre mind that I'm, I'm a legitimate martial artist, you know, and, um, with real experience and with history in a system uh, that has been forgotten. All right. God bless you guys. This is Wind Dragon. And to my Trinko Shu brothers and sisters, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I dedicate this to you and I dedicate this to my uncle. I love you. All right. Bye.